When Treasurer Valerie Stamey named Commissioner J.R. Iman as a key point of corruption that she'd been trying to stop in the Treasurer's office, it obviously caught the two-term commissioner off guard. Afterward, he told me he had no idea where most of her claims came from and declined further comment. Wednesday afternoon, Iman gave me a complete statement reacting to Stamey's claims. I've developed a high level of faith and trust in the employees of our county, both past and present. They are a very dedicated group. My obligation and dedication to the taxpayers is, as Ronald Reagan said, trust but verify. These personal accusations are without merit and patently false. Stamey leveled a number of charges against Iman from interfering in her office to blocking access to records and taking files. Iman says he welcomes Fulbright's call for an investigation and will vote to support that move on Thursday. I will vote for an independent investigation and an outside forensic audit of county financial records. I will also continue to ask for financial reports to the Commission and request balanced financial statements and timely dispersals for state agencies, county departments, cities, schools, fire departments, and irrigation districts so that they may conduct business and complete their audits. Commissioners will discuss the investigation with Fulbright Thursday afternoon. In Hamilton, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.